Okay, in this segment we will be continuing on with confidence intervals. This time a confidence interval for the population proportion. So let's see how it works. To estimate the percentage of a species of rodent that carries a specific viral infection, 150 rodents are randomly selected and examined, and 76 of them are found to be infected. Now based on this, find a 95% confidence interval for the proportion of all rodents of the species that are infected with the virus. Then complete the table below. As always, let's take a minute or two and look at our notes. Now once again here, remind you that how confidence intervals work is that we have a sample over here and from that sample, which we hope is representative of the entire population, we're going to use bits and pieces about this sample in order to make predictions about the population. Not for sure what the population proportion is in this case, but two values which we are quite confident that it falls between. Hence the idea of an interval. We've seen this before. Notice the three-part setup just as we've done many times before now. We're going to deal with a confidence, we're going to calculate an error, and then the interval. Notice that the error is complicated. Uh, we have a more complicated formula here. Notice that we're back to a z distribution. We're going to have a z alpha over 2. And we've got a couple of other bits. We're going to have the sample proportion p hat we call it. So read this little symbol here, p hat, or the sample proportion. And notice that what that is is basically a fraction with x, which is the thing we care about, in this case the rodents who are infected with the disease, compared to the total rodents in our sample. Also the formula involves a thing called q hat, which is just the complement of p hat, or 1 minus p hat. So we've got some things to do. Let's go back over and read our story one more time and let's pick out some things. Okay, to estimate the percentage of a species of a certain infection, 150 rodents are randomly selected. Well, right away, that's your sample size. So we go over here and we see that our sample size n is 150. Now, out of that 150, we notice here that some of these rodents, in fact, 76 of them, are found to be infected. Now, since we're talking about the uh, confidence interval for the percentage of infected rodents, this 76 is in fact what we care about, so we will call it X as we have done before. So we will make the note here that X equals 76. And immediately what we're going to want to do with that is to calculate out P hat. We're going to calculate a percentage, basically a fraction expressed as a decimal for that sample proportion. In other words, if there are 76 out of the 150 rodents who have the disease, that's going to become our sample proportion, our sample uh, statistic here that we're going to use to make the prediction. So back to the Alex calculator and let's do a little math here. We're going to calculate 76 divided by 150 because this is how we change this fraction into a decimal and we find that to be 0 0.5066666 and that goes on forever. Now let's round that here because it says uh, carry your intermediate computations to at least three decimal places so we can see here in the third decimal place we can round that at 0 0.507 and so let's make a note about that. Okay, so our p hat is going to be 0 0.507, and while we're at that, let's go ahead and calculate q hat as well, because remember q hat's going to be the complement of that. We're going to need that number here in just a second, so let's clear, take 1 minus 0 0.507, and let's calculate that to be 0 0.493. Let's make a note about that over here. 0.493 and what we will do then is look at the next thing they tell us which is our confidence level and so we are 95 percent sure of our results so let's go back over here to our notes 
and uh, take a look at that if we are 95% confident. Now we've done this before as well. So if we're 95% sure, we take that out of the middle of our distribution. Of course, if we are 95% sure, then we must be 5% unsure. Of course, we're going to divide that up into our two parts. So 0 0.05 divided by 2 is 0 0.025, which is this area under the curve to the right of our unknown z alpha over 2 score. So what we can do to get that, of course, is to use the z button and take the z of 0 0.025. So let's hop back over here to our Alex calculator and do that very thing. And so the z of 0 0.025 is 1.9 five nine some decimals after that so we can see here if we round that intermediate computation to three places we will have 1.960 so let's make a note here 1.960 is going to be our z alpha over 2. Now we're going to need to multiply that times this gigantic square root. Inside the square root we're going to have p hat multiplied by q hat which as we said was 0 0.507 multiplied times 0.493. We're going to divide that by the uh, n which we said was 150. So we're going to plug that in here and that's the math that we have to do. Kind of a big sloppy error calculation. But let's go back to our Alex calculator and do that all in one step. Well here's our 1.960. Let's don't round that. Let's just leave it as it is. Let's multiply uh, times a gigantic square root. Now inside of this square root we're going to have 0 0.507. We're going to multiply that times 0 0.493. We're going to take all of that inner content. So let's highlight that and then divide that by our sample size of 150. So if we're careful how we do this, we can crank this entire error calculation all in one giant step. And our answer turns out to be 0 0.08000 and some other decimals. Now notice here that uh, we're going to carry uh, our intermediate computations to three places. So 0, 8, 0, the next digits is 0. So 0, 8, 0 is going to be our um, error to three decimal places. And so we'll be good at those three places. And now for our final answer, our final interval. Well, once again, we're going to take our p hat minus our error. Remember our p hat we had a while ago at 0.507. We're going to subtract off our error, which was 0 0.080. And then, of course, we're going to take for the upper limit p hat plus our error, which is 0 0.507 plus 0 0.080. And once again, now we don't actually have to do that work. We can trust our Alex calculator to do that for us. In fact, do it all in one step. So let's go back here. Uh, here is our error. Let's don't round that. Let's uh, simply store that, clear it, take our 0 0.507 and uh, plus or minus what we had there in our recall. Let's calculate that and notice here they want us to round to two decimal places at the end. So we're going to have 0 0.43 on the low end and we're going to have 0 0.59 on the high end. So let's go ahead and check that. And this has been Confidence Intervals for the Population Proportion in Alex Statistics.